Hi and welcome to the Ford tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to um, set a tap target over our avatar so that when we click it the icons from underneath will pop out. So first we're going to create a tap target with a sprite. We're going to give the sprite a width and height of 0 0.5 and also so that our sprite uh, follows around the um, avatar we're going to give it the same um, X and Y values. We also need an interaction patch. And we connect that to our tap target. Um, I'm going to create a few patches here and connect them. Uh, you follow along and I'll explain them afterwards. So we're going to get a sampling hold. A multiplexer and mat so we connect our mouse down to our sample and hold and our value to source index we connect our mat to our source zero and give it a value yeah that's okay we copy it uh, the mat and we connect to the source one and we give this a value of uh, initial value of 0 0.25 so what's happening here is the mouse down has a boolean value of true or false um, when converted to a number it is 0 or 1 0 for false 1 for true and the source index always goes from 0 to one or two or three or how many you set it to uh, so at the moment it's zero so while the source index is at zero it's getting this value which is going to source zero so the value is zero at the moment however if we click down which our mouse will then get a boolean value of true which is equal to one then the source index is going to be updated to one it's going to slide across to one and get a value from our second mass patch which is zero minus zero point two five. So the next thing we need to do is actually we can connect this up and I'll give you uh, an example of what will happen before we add an inertia patch and after we add the inertia patch. So I'm going to create an inertia sprite, and this is going to act as the um, icon. So point three, no, point zero three. No, um, give it a value. Yeah. Okay, give it that. Point zero eight. Maybe point one. Okay. And I'm just gonna drag in a picture of or PNG of um, messenger. I'm going to connect that up. There we go. Um, and if we connect it to the X position at the moment, it uh, because it's on zero it's going to have our value of zero. But if we click it, it does what it's supposed to do, which goes to zero minus point zero two two five. But it as you can see, just it's goes from one point to another automatically. There's no in between point. So to do this, we need to add inertia. So what we're going to do is create a macro patch. Then we're going to go into it and add three patches. The first one is going to be a feedback. The second one is going to be a spring. And the third one is going to be inertia. Basically, um, if I bring that up again, uh, inertia needs to have a feedback loop to work properly, and that's why we have our feedback here, so it will work properly. And once we publish an output, which means it's going to be an output on the patch that we're inside of, feedback automatically gets an initial uh, output value, which is really an input value, not an output. But um, if we go up and have a look, we can see that it has an output value now because we published it. <coughs> so
So what we're going to do here is publish this input of sample value. Yeah, sample value. And we're going to publish input, which is says output here, but it's an input. And we're going to send this to value. And we're going to connect this to value one. If we go up and we actually, I'm just going to publish friction so we can um, control how bouncy the um, animation will be. So what we're going to do here is connect to sample value. Also, we just need to connect our publish Spring Center. And to Spring Center and to X. So, okay, two seconds. Uh, okay, to initial output value. Yeah. So that's my mistake. Um, there's no need to publish um, sample value. So we can just uncheck that and yeah, so all we need to connect to is initial output value, which we can see is down here, and spring center, which is connected to here. And then we connect to an X value and it has that in between uh, motion that we were missing beforehand. So yeah, if we it's obviously very uh, springy at the moment. So we're just going to add the friction to maybe 10. Yeah, that's better. Maybe a little bit of bounce. Yeah, cool. So we're, we can give it a static um, y position of minus 0, uh, minus point zero 0.05. Sorry, minus 0.5. But we just have to hide it behind our avatar. So when we click it, it comes out. And we can give it a um, less value here, uh, maybe 0.2. So there we go. And basically we want to copy and paste this so we can do it for the other side as well, for the last app icon. But to make it a little bit easier, we're going to highlight all of these and click macro patch which automatically puts it into its own macro patch here and you have all the stuff you were working on beforehand we're just going to rename it to exposition and what we're going to do here is copy and paste this and we're just going to drag in um, last app PNG, copy exposition. Uh, I'll actually rename this to exposition messenger and copy this to exposition last app, last app. So yeah, and connect it and yeah. So I just want to connect this to where we copied our. Uh, messenger icon sprite and image and put in the last app image and connect our position to x position of our last app we we'll want to go in here and just change this to plus 0 0.2 and of course bring it down so we pick three so when we click it hopefully both will go to different uh, sides when they do